legal battle against the Daily Mail tabloid's publisher, Prince Harry lost a preliminary round on Friday. The story claimed that after leaving his position as a working member of the royal family, he attempted to conceal his attempts to continue receiving government-funded security in the UK. Hi there, and welcome to our site where you can get the most recent information on your favourite celebrities and royals. If this is your first visit, please be sure to enable alerts and subscribe. Because the piece presented an unbiased assessment of the case's facts, affiliated publications may maintain their contention that it was illegal. In his ruling, the judge stated that the publisher has the opportunity to demonstrate that public declarations made on Harry's behalf were deceptive. Judge Matthew Nicklin stated in his letter that he anticipated the defense to claim that this was a spinning lesson. The defendants claimed that the decision was successful in deceiving and or confusing the public, thus a hearing to address its effects is set for Tuesday. This decision follows the conclusion of three days of deliberations by another court about whether or not the government wrongfully withheld his security details from him following his and his family's relocation to the United States. King Charles III's younger son Harry is contesting the government's decision to offer protection on a case-by-case -case basis when he and his family go to the UK. How Prince Harry tried to keep his legal battle with the government over police bodyguard was a February 2022 article that appeared in the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online. According to Associated Newspapers, Harry's reputation was not harmed by the report. Nicking did not think about whether the narrative served the public interest or was true. Harry had resigned as the family's top working member, therefore the government justified its choice to deny him full protection once he found that the story was slanderous. He received decent treatment and protection. Harry's bid to pay back London police for protecting him was denied by a court when he paid them a visit. A government lawyer protested that cops shouldn't serve as affluent people's personal bodyguards when he first arrived in Britain. This year, among the terms I have written are high court, dog bowl todger, and pants suit. Given how frequently Prince Harry visits there, I hope they are receiving a cheap parking charge. The exile royal's attorney, Shard Fatima Kask, appeared in court on Friday. To get a list of all his instances, simply go to my extensive spreadsheet. His legal challenge to the Home Office's decision on his security was the subject of his scrolling scrolling. Plans when visiting the UK My children have a strong connection to the UK, and I want them to feel as comfortable there as they do in the US. Let's pause and take note, it's plausible that Harry is using this as a warning from the Sussex Conclave about a future that could involve time spent in the UK. For it, there is a term. Thought it would be great if Harry packed up his family and went back to a life of blue jeans and woolen trousers. Before things become too crazy and need to be surgically removed along with the use of Valium, Peter is only a fantasy. Princess launching a radio program is like my dream come true. That is depressing. Without a doubt, Harry will reside in the country that invented cheese in a can. The thought of Harry and his wife going back to Britain has surfaced twice in the last few weeks. Nobody could have expected this turn of events, not even Harry.